What's going on guys? My name is Aaron and today I'm going to be showing you a very easy way to get the iOS swipe to go back gesture on Android. You don't need root for this and this will work on any phone, not just the Samsung Galaxy S8 I'm showing this off on. So if you have a Google Pixel, if you have an HTC phone or an LG phone or any one of the Chinese manufacturing phones, it should work just fine. The only requirement is that you need to be on a relatively recent version of Android because this takes advantage of one of the newer accessibility options that just came out recently within the past couple years which is why you don't need root for this it'll take advantage of one of the accessibility features built into Android that's the only requirement and I'll just show you what the app looks like the app costs two dollars in the Google Play Store you will need Google Play credit in order to download this app or you could get it by some other means which I will not go into explaining because you can Google it yourself because I really recommend supporting the developer of this app there are many features of it uh, so I highly recommend if you're going to uh, download this app to please download it through the Play Store and support the developer uh, so for now I'll just show you the app let me get the camera in focus so I'm gonna show you the app and it looks like this it's two brackets uh, in a circle so you press to open it and you get all of these features. So you get tap where you can just tap on the edge of the screen and it'll do something. I don't have anything set for the tap or double tap, which is self-explanatory. You got long press, which I have set to recent apps. Then you have swipe to go right, which is by default selected to the back button. And then when you have pull and slide, it'll adjust the volume. You can also set it for the right edge if you're lefty, if you or if you're dominant with your left hand. You can also set common, which is the how thick the bar of uh, recognition should be. If your phone has like weird edges, because I know some other phones that are not Samsung phones have slightly beveled screens, this might help that. And also if you have like screen protectors that like bulge out, this will help. Uh, you can mess with those settings to uh, adjust that if you have a weird screen protector. You can also set it, I have it set whenever I go and do one, any one of these activities, I have it set to have the phone buzz, which is haptic feedback, you, but you can also set it to have a sound and a visual effect, which I usually don't like because I like to keep everything on my phone silent, especially because I'm usually in public places when I'm using stuff like this. So I'm going to show off the app to you. So if I go into Reddit, Reddit is fun to be specific, and I go to any one of these posts, once it loads. Uh, you no longer have to like swipe up and click the back button. You can swipe to the right and it'll you'll hear a little buzz uh, or feel it at least and it'll go right back. It's a very nice app and like when I go to a different subreddit, I swipe to go back. It brings me back to the front page because that's how the app is developed. Sometimes in certain apps uh, when you press the back button and there's nowhere to go back to in the app because you're on the main menu of the program it'll go back to the home screen. I also have it set up so that when I hard press in a certain place, it doesn't really work that well, so I don't use it that much, but when I hard press in a certain place, it'll bring up the multitasking menu. So I highly recommend this app if you uh, just came over from iOS to Android like I just did when I switched carriers from Sprint to D-Mobile because I needed to get a new phone as I couldn't bring over my iPhone 7 Plus because it would take too long to uh, have them pay off the phone and also have it unlocked uh, by Sprint to bring over to T-Mobile. So if, if you really like those features uh, and for some reason like you don't like the home buttons or you want to keep them off all the time, uh, I highly recommend this app. I'll leave a link in the description and I will also have a link somewhere on the screen for you to download it. This app is not developed by me, I'm not being paid to promote this app, I just found it really nice because I originally thought this was a Samsung feature because of the name of the app, but no, it, according to the reviews on the Play Store, this will work with any phone that runs a recent version of Android, even tablets too, if uh, that's very ergonomic for you. So thank you for uh, watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Please leave a like if this helps. And uh, please even subscribe if you really want to see more content like this.